Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Divine Journey 2. Here we are today, episode 5, I believe. Uh, yes, okay. So, last episode we had mostly done a few small things. We got this epic backpack, which can hold a lot of things. We were working on the quests here. They got the obsidian armor, uh, with some mine obsidian, and pretty much we just dug around a bit more. We are working our way towards the next chapter, and that is making this whittle knife here. So I went and mined up some more obsidian, and I think I had the iron and the copper and the wood. So let's get to making that, shall we? Wait, double? Oh. Okay. That should be enough, I think. Actually, it's more than enough. Okay. Knife. And... Boom. Nice. So, I'm guessing this is just an aesthetic thing, so I'm just gonna put that right there. Oh, cool! It has a timer and everything. Or a time on it and everything. Cool. Alright. So, oh, we got a quest book. Or a mod book from that. Totempedia. A guide to your, all your totemic needs. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot to go through. Let's see if the quest book will tell us what we need to do from here. Okay, this quest is mainly for information on totemic. You can use your totem knife on any vanilla log block to transform it into a totem base. You can shift right click or shift scroll wheel on your little knife to switch between totem options. Carve any vanilla log type or red cedar above a totem base to create a totem of a specific kind. So craft, carve any vanilla log above a totem base. Totem poles can be... Can only be at most six blocks high, including the base. Various animals carved out give small area of effect buffs. The effect area is a 11 cubed centered at the base, similar to a small range beacon. To find out what gives what, please read the tones and effects. Okay. To complete the quest, craft two totemist drums. Brood on for more information about instruments and ceremonies. To start a ceremony, you need to be close to a totem pole. Place down some drums, two is likely enough. Lots of wind chimes, and hold some musical instruments in your mane and offhand like a flute. And later, a rattle and eagle bone whistle. Oh boy. Okay. So that's wood, copper, and more leather. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see here. Wait. Interesting. Okay, so we need drums, so we need more leather then. Okay. Uh, can I use zombie flesh? Damn. Okay, that still becomes jerky. There's four leather. Okay. I don't have enough leather then. Damn. Okay. Um. I might need to go out and uh, kill some more cows then in that case. Okay. Um. Gonna harvest up some of our cactus. Okay. Let's 
So wait, the drum. Okay, so we do need six. Okay. Uh, where did my lime or my green dye get off to? There's dye there. There we go. Alright, so yeah, I need to go and kill some more cows, so I'll be back in a split. Okay, I am back. So, one thing I noticed while I was running around outside, I can climb walls. And I'm guessing it has to do with the spider aura. Yeah, see, there we go. Nice. Interesting. Okay, so now I have my leather. We are going to put that up there. Oh, you know what? I probably ran out of... Flint or gravel. Okay, we have some. That should be enough for what I need. And that goes there. Oh, you know what? While I am thinking about it... Where'd it go? There's a bucket. We'll grab another bucket. Put those away. Put that one away. Come on. Gonna come out here. Gonna grab some water. Okay. Uh, put this down in here. Okay. So that will be easier that way. Unfortunately, still gonna make multiple trips to the, my little water hole. Okay. Oh, I need one more, don't I? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bada boom. Oh, I actually need, yeah, one more. Okay. So there's that. So, Totemus. Okay, so that's two pieces of copper. Okay. Uh, copper. There's some copper. Well, it's a shame I don't have any more copper. Okay. I'm going to go dig some more then. Uh, let me put away some more stuff. Oh, I got more sheep, or I got some sheep wool. So that I can do this. Oh no, don't tell me the bed is made hard. Are you kidding me? Really, game? You're gonna do me dirty like that? Buffalo hide again. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, uh, I guess I am just screwed then at that point for now. Uh, maybe Totem has a way to get buffalo hide? I don't know. If anybody does know how I can get buffalo hide easily, please feel free to let me know. Okay, so gotta find some copper. Um, I'm guessing, I'm assuming copper is gonna be around the 30s or 40s of uh, white level. Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Copper ore. Um. Oh. No, that's the Airbus. Copper. Gen 60, huh? 60 and up. Well, that's interesting. Um, I swear I got in copper at some point, but maybe I just burned it all on uh, so oh, there we go. Okay, that's some good cop amount of copper. Yeah, uh, if all this fails, I think we'll be good. Or copper. Okay, no. I don't like that. Okay, I like that. 
Okay, I think maybe that's enough for now. Some coal, some tin. Okay, let's go home. Gonna pop that in there, and that will smelt up. Okay. Come back over here. Let's get that back in there. And I put the wood away, deny. Okay. And I forgot, I either need to make another table. Oh, I had some extra laying around. There we go. Never mind. Okay. So let's get some copper smelted here. We'll just need this one block. And we should be good. Ah, sorry, I just got my knuckles cracked. Okay. Uh, probably need, I probably want to smelt some ores off camera, the tin and the such that I got in my chest. There we go. All right. Come back over here, plug that in there. And bada boom. Okay. That gives us egg or ink sacks. We'll go ink sacks. Craft a totemic staff. This tool can be used to right click on totems and totem bases to display some information about effects and ongoing rituals. But more importantly, this tool can be used to stop a ceremony by left clicking a totem base. Uh, more copper, more leaves, and tin. Okay. It's this jingle dress. Wearing this in your leg slot will increase your musical performance while doing rituals. While moving during rituals. Okay. James Galloway would be proud. Craft a flute. This can help you with totemic ceremonies by generating music via right clicks. Okay, silver, wood, and leaves. Okay. So I'm going to need some shears in that case. Uh, iron rod, string, planks. Oh boy. Do we have any string on me? Okay. I see string seed. But we might have to sacrifice our wool. And where did the wool go now? Oh, right there. Oh, stop it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can't decraft. Ah. Uh, dang it. All right. Let's get that wool seed or cotton seed or whatever. And plug her in. All right, so we're going to have to wait on that then. And while that happens, we should probably get the uh, silver smelted up here. Okay, then. Silk thread. Flux. Unless there's like some plant out there that I can quickly mine. Uh, I'm not sure what I can do here. To complete the quest, craft your start a ceremony, you need to be close to a totem pole, place down some drums, lots of wind chimes, and some music. Okay. So, looks like there's some quest here that I'm going to have to do to be able to get very far. Uh, uh, I need to do those, those quests here before I can really do anything interesting. What does, uh, when does this open up? Boss fight? Paycock? Okay. So it looks like we can't progress into the next tree until we do each chapter. I think. There might be some ins and outs of that. I don't know. 
Okay. Well, okay. That tells me how far that's grown. Nice. I wonder if I can get any seeds. Oh, nice. Okay, that worked pretty good. Um, I see a cotton seed in there, so I want to get the zombie dead. Okay. Let's put some crap in here. Oh, uh, nope. Don't want you. Okay. I don't know if the creepers do damage. Okay, they don't. Cool. So they don't uh, damage the land with claimed chunks. That's cool. I do like that I can just quickly ore vein the grass and get some more seeds that way. Okay, so I might have to pause here and come back when I have the necessary materials to continue on with these quests. Um, let me go back on this. Iron bells. Okay. More iron, more leather. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That's going to be silver, or tin, gold, leaves, and bronze. Bronze I can make in the uh, smeltery, no doubt. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go AFK, and uh, I will be back when I can afford all of these items. Back in a bit. Hey, everybody. I am back. So... Uh, I made some shears, and I got some alloys prepared. Got some leaves. So, uh, let's get going on this series of items. Did I make that? I did not make that leather, did I? Um... I could swear I had one piece of leather left over. Wait, is it in my backpack, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So... Oh, goodness. Where's the green dye? Oh, there it is. Okay. Get that, get that. Boom. Oh, what? The? I didn't go in there. Okay. Need a, a bucket. Bucket. And I should have a flint somewhere, I think. Okay, there we go. Put that in there. Okay. Now, I should be good to make dress, so... Okay, so I need two of these. Um, drop that. So, oh, wait a minute, I need three of that, don't I? There we go. Oh, wait a minute, I wasted too much. Oh, darn it. Okay, it didn't account for the... Uh, double amount of iron that I needed there. I did make the bronze, which is just copper and iron. I mean, copper and tin. Uh, typically three parts copper, one part tin, and you get four ingots worth, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with this mod pack. Okay. So we're going to get some I'm going to grab the copper when we make this item, so that will be useful for us. Uh, yeah. I probably should be going on a mining spree, honestly. Uh, probably do that after this episode, just so I can have the materials ready to go. And, uh, yeah, that would probably help out. Okay, so let's get some iron cooked up. Can probably uh, cook up some ingots too while I'm at it. I think I need just a few bit more. I think that was uh, six pieces. Okay, 
We'll grab the iron back over to our table here. So two, three, bada boom. And we'll grab the copper. Uh, I'll put that away for now. I'm not sure if I even want to put that in just yet. Okay. So, uh, flute. Oh. Oh, we need wood blocks. Not a problem. One, oh. One two, three. Bada boom. And a totemic staff. Do we have... Okay, we need gold and tin. Okay. Um, do I really not? Okay, there we go. Grab some tin like that. And... Bing, bang, boom. There we go. Okay. So that... I'll get the string because string is awesome. And... Oh, goodness. This is strange. Given us drawer items... Uh, okay, you are now... Oh, a storage crate. Nice. You are now tasked to perform the Rite of Spring while saplings are nearby. This will transform these saplings into red cedar saplings. The ritual has some additional effects. Please read up on them in your Totempedia. Once you've obtained at least one red cedar sapling, pick it up to complete this quest. You're now recommended to place the blocks... Some blocks above the affected saplings. They don't grow while you're performing the ritual. Additionally, some hot saplings do work. Oh, okay. So now I believe we're good to do our first ritual. Oh, it gave us two. I free I don't really pay attention to when the quest book gives us one or two items. Okay, so here's our ritual book thingy. The red cedar tree is a tree that naturally has capabilities for totemic purposes. It can be obtained by infusing mundane saplings with musical energy. Red cedar wood, okay, a crafting application. In addition, a bark stripper is able to remove its bark to make more efficient uses. Oh, buffaloes, here we go. They are incredibly sad. Hunting has left them nearly extinct, but they can be with the buffalo dance ceremony. Uh, there's not much here, is there? Whoa, hello? What am I looking at here? Oh! Is this what I think it is? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this thing is nice. Um, I haven't used it, but I kind of remember this being a thing. But we can combine all of the books that we get and combine it into this one book. So we don't have to keep a lot of books laying around. Okay, now that's an enchant. I don't think we got many other books right now, so let's just continue on with what we were doing. So... The ritual has additional effects. Okay. Okay, so I think I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess at what I need to do. So... Okay, going... No, that goes there. Wait. No, that's not what I want to do. Sneak while playing. How do I stop that?
Okay, I'm going to try this. Hold on, I got to read the quest book again here. Craft a flute. This can help you by generating music notes. Start by shift right clicking. How do you get it back? Hold on. Wait a minute. Don't I need drums? Okay. Uh, let me try something here. I think I forgot about that thing right there. Okay, still got time before I need to call the episode. Nope. Stupid. Okay. Bum. Bum. Oh, shoot. Okay, I need to break that now. Okay. So, like that. I don't know if I'll... Ooh, buffalo. Okay, interesting. Oh, there we go. No, that's not right. Um, okay. Which wants to add additional effects? Huh. Okay, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So it was a bit confusing to me, but I think I figured this out. So what I need to do is right shift right click and then come over here. There we go. And right click the drum. I gotta be fast about this. Oh no! God dang it. I... Damn it. No, okay, damn it, I screwed it up. Okay, I gotta try this again. Okay. There's gotta be a way to... Okay, I think I, I I have a theory on what to do here. Okay, wait for it. No! Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay, it took a bit of work, but I finally got it. Okay. We're going to close that quest out. Chime. Craft three wind chimes. Hang them up near your totem pole for passive music generation. Watch out, though. You should have no blocks beneath the chime. Okay. Ooh, muffler. Okay, so that's more rod, iron rods, copper string, and wood. Okay, that's not so bad. Meanwhile, I got some more cop uh, cotton here. So, that is good to have. Okay, with that being said, though, I think this is going to be a wrap. Um, learn quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to put this... Oh, I'll put it right there. So, this crate has two pages, as you can see with these buttons here. And I'm sure I'll store crap in there. But for now, I'm going to store stuff in here. Should probably maybe move everything into that crate. We'll see. That being said, though, I hope you did enjoy. I uh, will see you all in the next one when I continue down the path of Totemic. 
Uh, it looks like we've got a couple more things to do and a, possibly a boss fight. So we will want to get some Tinkerer's weapons and such. All right. Uh, that's it for now. I'll see you all next time. Later.